Happy holidays, Starshine! How are you? I'm TK, and today I will play MC Parks in Minecraft because it's decorated for Christmas and we can celebrate Christmas in Disney World. And that just seems like such a vibe. Um, in all honesty, I was really hoping that today I could do a, uh, <clears throat> a Christmas karaoke like I did last year. Oh, I forgot to silence my phone. <laughs> But I was hoping to do a Christmas karaoke like last year, but because I'm still getting over being sick, I, uh, I, I don't really have the voice for, uh, singing right now. So, I'm hoping, because next week I probably will only stream once, maybe twice. I don't want to get your hopes up, but maybe next week if my voice is all better, I can do a belated Christmas karaoke. Um, next week, but for now, I just I was trying to think I'm like I'm feeling better I'm it's probably still gonna be a short stream because I'm still feeling kind of tired. I'm a little worn out uh, but um, I was like what is something I could do that would be like really nice and relaxing that would be kind of Christmassy and I remembered that um ooh. That MC Parks is all uh, MC Parks is all decorated for Christmas, so I figured, hey, let's go to MC Parks and celebrate Christmas in Disney World. But hello, everyone. Hello to Bari, Vulgar, Lazy. Hello. I see uh, Vulgar has been playing the original Half Life. That's really cool. I'm gonna be playing Black Mesa after I finish episode two. Uh, but um, that's gonna after episode two after episode two but yes i'm excited because i've never played the original half-life or black mesa before so i'm excited to actually experience it i've seen bits and pieces of it uh but i've never actually like seen the whole thing or played the whole thing or anything like that so that's going to be completely unique to me um so that's going to be kind of exciting but yes i figured i wanted to celebrate the holidays since this will be the last time I can stream before Christmas um, and uh, so I thought we could celebrate in Disney I could see some of the decorations we'll probably just ride some rides but keep it kind of short kind of simple I was really hoping we could do a fireworks show um, but I want to do the Christmas fireworks show I think there's a couple Christmas ones but uh, but that's not until like 6 p.m. And I gotta go, like, right at, like, 6.20. So, I, I wouldn't really have time to do it. So, I, I would have scheduled later if I had time to do it, but I won't have time to do it. Um, you been playing Skyrim in survival mode? Nice! I need to play it. Well, I need to finish playing Oblivion, and then I need to play Skyrim. Source Adults Unite. <laughs> Sorry, you're not feeling great. I hope you feel good beside that. Yeah, I'm mostly just sniffly, and I'm a little tired, and I think part of that is because um, I did my first, like, longish workout today um, since I got sick, sick, which was, like, you know, a week ago. So I don't think my, my body is a little, like, I'm not used to this. Oh my gosh. So I'm I'm just a little bit worn out and a little bit sniffly, but otherwise I'm feeling pretty great and like I'm I'm in a great mood. Things are going pretty good right now. And um you know, Christmas is just around the corner. Um so you know, the holidays are nice and I'm looking forward to spending some time with my family. Um also uh, also uh TH as a Christmas gift, he uh, he's helping me pay for a custom keyboard. Um, so I'm gonna get a brand new keyboard. Um, I'm hoping. In, I mean, I my my keyboard works fine, but it's just not my favorite. I like thocky more than clickety clackety. So this one should be more thocky. Um, so just have like uh, like a nice uh, softer, heavy, uh, like thonky or like chonk chonk kind of noise as opposed to loud uh clickety clackities um 
which mine is very clickety clackety. And I especially, I've always been bothered with it when it comes to like recording and stuff, because I know, I know that my microphone picks up the loud clicky noises. I don't think it will pick up the thocky quite as much. But also, I got, I will definitely give you picks. And maybe, and I was thinking for my ASMR stream when I finally do it, I can, I can do some ASMR with the keyboard. But uh, I got these keycaps for it that I'm actually super excited for. They're really cute. It took me forever to make a decide, but I I finally decided on these ones. The thing that made me hesitate hesitate tint to get these were they're like they're brown, and I was hoping for purple, but they're brown because they're coffee cat themes. It's it's got like little little kitties and coffees. It's got coffee beans and coffee mugs and mugs that look like cats and it's so cute and it's just that's just me. Cats and coffee, two of my favorite things. So I thought I mean I just I had to. It's so cute and I'm really excited to get these keycaps. Um, and I'm really excited too because in the future I'd like to buy other keycaps. I found these hamster themed keycaps that I'm definitely gonna get in the future. I decided not to get them this time because I wanted a little bit more of a basic one because it's a very graphic like it's it's super cute but it's just it's very graphic and it, like really not loud but like the graphics are really more uh, intense and I want a more simpler one for the for my first keycaps but yes I am really excited for that um I I this uh this morning and I did something I really didn't want to do and it turned out better than I expected and it made me happy to get that all sorted out. Um, and it's just, I have a hot chocolate here. It's nice. I'm nice. I'm having a good, I'm having a good time. And I'm looking forward to exploring MC Parks in the Christmas time. I'm sure there's not too much that's really different, um, but they're going to have some decorations up and stuff like that, like in the original parks. Uh, so we'll probably explore. I know for sure Magic Kingdom and Disneyland are going to be souped up. Uh, so I'll, but I will see, uh, if the other part. Oh, thank you, Lazy! Five, five tier one subs! Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Lazy! Merry Krimbus, everybody! Have some subs! Merry Krimbus! <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet of you, Lazy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's a good Christmas gift. Um, but thank you. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, CK. I appreciate your streams and you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you, Lazy. I appreciate all of you guys. You're all so great. You're all so lovely. It's so good to be here with you. Celebrate the holidays with my precious stars. Um, uh, I, uh, I, I, I hope that you all have a great Christmas, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, just a great holiday time. All, 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 all the Christmas presents, yes! I hope you get everything you want for Christmas, um, and I hope, I hope that, oh, I just, this is a good time, it's a good season. I know, I know people are getting sick left and right like me, but it's a good season, and it's happy, and I hope everybody's happy, and I just, yeah, I'm so happy. I hope everybody is happy. Um, but, uh, let's go ahead and pop into the game. Oh, I gotta get the audio. I gotta get the audio. Uh, let me connect. Oh, apparently that was one of my uh, daily challenges, was to connect to the audio system, which I did. Ah, Magic Kingdom! Heck yeah! Uh, let's... Hmm. I want to see if there's any Christmas stuff that I can, uh... Like, little, little pets and stuff like that. Because right now, I've got... I've got Pascal, I've got Remy... Um, I have Haunted Mansion, Wristband, and Backpack. Um, and I also have some candies. I have, I have a Keyblade. <laughs> Someone was really sweet and bought me some, uh, Kingdom Hearts stuff. Because they got the Keyblade, uh, Night Shield, and Mage's Staff. Uh, 
in here for Kingdom Hearts. I need more Kingdom Hearts star stuff in Disney. Like, I think at one point they maybe had like Sora as like a character meet and greet. And maybe they had Donald and Goofy in their outfits. I don't remember. Uh, but it was like it was a short period. Of t it was like a really short period of time, and it it it, it wasn't really. Um, I don't know. It was it wasn't a big thing. Any more Kingdom Hearts stuff? Got to play Kingdom Hearts for a stream. Ah, I um, my Kingdom Hearts three Let's Play on YouTube. Listen, if you haven't watched it, like, sorry to be self promoting. Like, no shame because that one was one of my favorite let's plays i ever did was kingdom hearts 3 playing it for the first time like right after it came out and and posting on my channel and i posted so many parts because i just i played it so long for long periods of time and that was the first time that f10 was so so sweet and so nice and edited for me he edited the entirety of kingdom hearts for me yes yes and i edited those videos f10 says um but so I, he, he allowed me to record a lot more because I didn't have to edit. Um, so I could spend less time editing and more time recording and I was able to post a lot more videos and it was, it was great. Um, it was honestly one of my favorite series I have on my channel. So like big recommend, but yes, maybe I, at some point will go through the series or something like that and, and play at least like one and two on stream. That would be pretty poggers. Uh, but anyway, yay, we got... Oh, wait, I want to look at these first. I want to take some time looking at it. Look at the cute little Santa hats. And the little presents. Oh, it's so cute. You got Mickey and Minnie and Santa hats. And these are, I'm assuming because they're green, they're supposed to be like hedges. I think they're usually like hedges out front. And then, uh, and yeah, they're celebrating, Disney's celebrating the like 100 year celebration oh that's so cute and oh they're mickey wreaths oh that's so sweet i have been to the parks um for christmas that used to be my family would uh go in christmas time because all the christmas activities were great and if you go like late november early december it at least used to be not anymore it's now it's busy all year round there's like no off time for disney but that used to be an off time like end of november early december and things weren't so busy and that would be when we would go and it was always so magical going around christmas time and then last year was the first time i went for halloween so that was exciting going for halloween um, but you will notice I have a lot of park points and a lot of special stuff. And that's because, oh, wow, I just realized 60 guests are online. That's a high amount. Um, but that's because around Halloween time, I was playing this a lot. Um, and I ended up getting a lot of money and getting the special wands, which are 10K and 20K points respectively. So they're expensive. <laughs> they take a lot of money. But yes, I, I grinded out a bunch of rides and stuff like that. I got a bunch of points. And I just, I played it a lot. I, play, I played this a lot because it was my happy place, particularly after Jebby passed away. Um, this was my, my place to go to where I felt happy. Um, so I spent a lot of time here. Some of the lore in Kingdom Hearts games that don't exist anymore, including a browser MMO game. Uh, some of the lore in Kingdom Hearts games. Oh, are in games that don't exist anymore. Yeah, wasn't that? Yeah, there was the browser MMO game. Um, that. Yeah, there there was some lore in it, but. <laughs> uh, I listen. I love getting into complicated lore like. Kingdom Hearts and FNAF, but I'm still not good at it. Um, the biggest thing for me is I'm not really caught up on the mobile game lore. Um, the mobile game lore is a little bit convoluted, but it's like very prequel stuff, like very beginning stuff. And yes, thank you for the angel, Jeb. Rest in peace, my little buddy. Um, but yes, I don't know the lore too well of the mobile game or the browser MMO game. Ah, uh, 
I don't think they changed the posters, but the posters are nice. Oh, look at the tree, guys! Look at the and the wreaths are all over. That's so nice. How how are your uh, places decorated? Do you decorate your places at all? I um I don't have a whole lot because um I've been I'm trying to accumulate like a little bit every year. Um, but also I have a small apartment and TH is not a huge fan of decorations. So I'm kind of have to like slowly ac accumulate him or acclimate him to it. So each year I'm going to just slowly get a little bit more decorations. And I think in the future when we do um, foster, uh, once we have a foster kid, I'm going to make the excuse of like, they need to have a big Christmas with lots of decorations. We're going all out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'll just be my excuse because I'll want the decorations. Um, but I did get some, I got, I got a little Christmas countdown thing and I got these cute little like hot chocolate, um, decorations. I have one on my desk right now. Uh, I want some more. I want, I, I want some more like lights and stuff to hang up. And, oh, and we have a little Christmas tree with a couple ornaments. I got one for Jeb last year. It's a, it's a cute little wooden hamster, and it has his name and the year on it. And I will keep that. I, I will keep that ornament forever. How does a game with freaking Goofy and Donald Duck have such deep lore? It's true. It's because it's merged with Final Fantasy. Though even Final Fantasy lore isn't quite as complicated as, as Kingdom Hearts. Oh, I love the I love wreaths. I want a wreath. That's what I want. I think for my next holiday thing, I should get a wreath. Maybe, maybe after, um, maybe after the holidays when things go on sale, I'll try and snag up some things. Looks like I actually have time to get today. Yay, Steel! Hello, e good evening. Oh, it's afternoon for me, but good evening for you. Um, twenty twenty three. Button? What is that? Like, Steel has a 2023. What is that? What is that, like, badge for? It's because of Tetsuya Nomura. You're right. Absolutely because of Tetsuya Nomura. Oh, and look at the little, like, soldiers. Does anybody, uh, does anybody know, uh, uh, Fantasia 2000? There's, uh, there's a, uh, so in Fantasia 2000, it's got a bunch of different, like, shorts. Like, animated shorts for, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. For uh like different classical pieces and one of them uh it is probably well one of my favorites. It's based off the tin tin soldier um uh Hans Christian Andersen tale. And it was like my favorite as a kid for sure. And it's got like a tin soldier and a ballerina and then an evil jack in the box. It's very, it's very cute. I like it. I like it a lot. And it's got a lot better ending than the original. So, uh, spoilers. In the Hans Christian Andersen version, the two main characters end up burning in a fire. But in the, uh, in the Disney Fantasia 2000 version, the evil Jack in the Box gets burned in the fires, and the two main characters are... They're good. It's from Twitch Recap. I guess I was an active viewer in general or something. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, F10 has it, too. For active viewers, you don't know what the metric is? The Sugar Plum Fairy? No. No, it's, uh... It's... It's... I forget the... It's like the Brave Tin Soldier or something like that. <clears throat> And it uh, has a ballerina. Oh, you equip it. Oh, I didn't realize you equip it. Oh, but that's so sweet that, oh, all the lovely people have that badge. I really appreciate Like, I really appreciate it. The steadfast and soldier. Thank you. But I really appreciate you. I, I really appreciate all of you who are so supportive and are, are regularly here. And you just... You bring such, like, listen, I, I, I'm only a part of the stream. You guys are a huge part of the stream in keeping things going, keeping the conversation going, like, bringing such great humor and talk to, 
um, it like you like oh you bring so much to the stream and I appreciate it so much and I love having you guys here, and and oh it makes me so happy. You guys are so great. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you guys are so great. Ah, uh, I'm getting emotional. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, look at uh, let's get back to looking at the oh, thank you for the hug. Uh, you guys are so great. Uh, use the Christmas tree last year, actually. <clears throat> last year, actually, when I went for Hall Halloween, uh, we were there, I think, only one day in November. I was think it was just November 1st, and of course, November 1st, they like over overnight, um, they just immediately took down all of the uh they took down all of the halloween decorations and put up all the christmas ones and so i remember i i posted a tiktok um that was of the hollow of of the holiday decorations um blame what's this from uh nightmare before christmas <laughs> because it was like i was like oh my goodness ha halloween was yesterday <laughs> Uh, oh, the cute little railroad. That's so cute. T and TK stands for tears. Emotional support, TK. Oh, you guys are great. Oh, I like the little gingerbreads. I love gingerbread. I love gingerbread cookies. Like, I genuinely do. Like, oh, who who here actually likes gingerbread? Like, eating it. Like, I feel people will be like, oh, yeah, I like the houses. They're cute, but I don't want to eat them. I love gingerbread. It's one of my favorite cookies, period. I think any cookie with molasses is just, mm, it's just, it's brilliant. Molasses cookies are brilliant. I love them. You don't hate it? Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Gingerbread is fine. I've never had fruitcake. I, everyone says that fruitcake is nasty, but th there's the occasional outlier here and there who are like, fruitcake is good. I like fruitcake, but I've never had fruitcake, so I don't know what it's like. I'm not big on fruity desserts. <gasps> I can get a Santa hat. Do I get the Santa hat or do I get the, the Christmas Mickey, Mickey ears? No, I want the Santa hat. I want the Santa hat. I'm buying the Santa hat. Oh, these ones have goofy ears. Are there ones... Do I want the goofy ears or the Mickey ears? I think I want the Santa hat with goofy ears. Just plain cake with chunks of fruit in it. That's what I heard. You haven't had gingerbread? It's so good. I like the fruitcake flavor of Mountain Dew they had last year. <gasps> what? Fruitcake Mountain Dew? I don't remember that. Oh, and there's a little Christmas light necklace. I have to get that too. Okay, we're going to buy this. Confirm purchase. And then we're gonna buy this. And then we gotta get we gotta get the look at the Dale shoulder pad. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so we're gonna put Dale on our shoulder so we can have a little Christmas pet. We're going to Um this might be one where I have to um right click it. I think I go here and then I right click it. Oh, you have to hold it and then you're wearing it. Okay. Um, let me see if how do I how do I wear it? It says nice hat, but it, it doesn't let me wear it. I want to wear the hat. How do I wear it? Do I have to take this one off first? Oh, yeah, I gotta take that off first. Okay, there we go. Now we have the goofy ears of the Christmas hat. <laughs> Dripped up with that Disney flair. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Alright. And then... I guess we have to hold it to wear this? I guess that's the... Because I think that's just for shirts. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're wearing the lights. And I think that's all the Christmas stuff, at least, that they have here. Okay. Alright, let's look around. Oh, oh my gosh! Dale's got a little candle on his head. 
<laughs> and it's burning. That's dangerous. The Mountain Dew was called Fruit Quake. Oh my gosh. Fu fruit Quake. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, look at those giant wreaths. Oh, I want a wreath so bad now. Now I want to go buy a wreath. I can hang it on the door. The question is, do I hang it on the inside or the outside? I almost want to do inside because then I can see it more. If it's on the outside, I only see it when I leave my house and I don't leave my house. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely getting, I'm definitely going to get a wreath and put it on the inside. It is crazy how much you can make in Minecraft. Like, look at this. It's, whoa, oh, <laughs> you scared me, Kudata. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's, wait, maybe there's, let me check. Oh, I know what's up. Do I? Oh, do you hear it now? I hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had the volume down so low. Can you can you guys hear the Christmas music now? Oh my gosh, I, that ruins the mood. I didn't. You hear it? Okay, good. No game audio. You know, I uh, I had the audio connected, but I forgot I turned it down really low last time I played because I was just AFK in the. Uh, the Haunted Mansion so I could get my rides up on the Haunted Mansion. I'm at like some few hundred rides on the Haunted Mansion now. <laughs> oh, this music is so good. I could just AFK here and let the music go. That would just make me so happy. Speaking of, like, Christmas music, Christmas music just makes me happy. Like, I am a big cheese ball. Um, AFK on a Haunted Ride. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, I'm a big cheese ball, and Christmas music makes me very, uh, very, very happy. So I'll be honest, I listened to Christmas music on November 1st this year. I admit it! November 1st, I listened to Christmas music. I'm not ashamed. I was happy. It made me happy. And no, I was not scared. The Haunted Mansion is my favorite ride. I am not the least bit afraid of it. I adore it. We'll have to ride it while I'm here. I <laughs> think I released Mariah Carey for the, for the breach. <laughs> She's an SCP. She breached. She breached uh, the the contain containment. Oh, I want an ice cream. Let's see. What ice cream can we buy here? So we can get a Mickey cone. Are there any, like, holiday ones that... Like, holiday ones? Strawberry ice cream cone. There might be ones at the, like, Starbucks. Let's go to the Starbucks and see if they have any, um... Holiday-themed treats. I think... This is the Starbucks? Cookie... This is the bakery, which I think is the Starbucks. Hmm, doesn't look like they have any holiday treats. Because if you could buy like gingerbread or candy cane, that would be great. You might, probably can get them somewhere, because I think I have, yeah, I have candy cane. I just don't, if someone gave it to me, I don't know where you can buy it. They should have chocolate called Mickey Moose. Oh, they absolutely do in the real in the real Disney World. I don't know if they have... I don't know if they have it in, uh... in MC Parks. But they absolutely have Mickey Moose in, um... in Disney. I literally have gotten it before. <laughs> and a partridge and a pear tree. Oh, they have more, uh... Oh, that's a that's a that's a snowman candy apple. So that's a treat. Good, they seized the pun. There's also oh hot chocolate. I gotta get hot chocolate. Let me look at that. That's so cute. I'm I I have a hot chocolate in real life and in the game. But there's also um. There's a uh, Canadian pavilion in Epcot where they have Le Cellier, which is um, Le Cellier, which is a restaurant in the Canadian section where they have absolutely amazing filet mignon. 
Mm, love going there for the filet mignon. But they have a dessert called the chocolate mousse. Um, as in the animal mousse. And it's shaped like a mousse. And they have little, uh, the, the like, antlers are maple leaf cookies. And it's, it's really good. It's delicious. I, you're not going to go wrong with chocolate in my book. You want to do rides first or shops first? Absolutely rides. I go on rides until I'm like a little worn out and then I go to shops to just chill out. Like I get I I get I I get the energy pumping and then once I'm like a little bit tired then I take my time to like chill out in the shops and stuff. Especially because um like the middle of the day is when there's going to be the most people and that's when the ride times are going to be the longest so you want to like so that's the time you go to the shops and stuff early on and later on that's when you that's when you go on the rides because the ride times are going to be shorter and then in the middle of the day when ride times are long you go to the shops I'm putting on my necklace again. I really, I really like this. I want that in real life. I've seen people have those, the like Christmas light necklaces. I want one in real life. That would make me so happy. Yeah, Casey's over here. I think they have like a brownie or something. I wonder if you can buy a brownie. You probably get a hot dog at least. Yeah, it looks like hot dogs. What's this? Oh, hot dog. Yeah, it looks like you can just get hot dogs. Um, I think so at Casey's, this it's it's baseball themed. Um, and you can throw the first pitch of the day. Like usually they're gonna pick a kid, of course. Um, but they'll pick a kid out of the crowd when they open and they'll have them throw the first pitch of the day. And if you do, I think you get like a brownie or a chocolate cake or something for free. Um But that's nice. I love I love when uh Oh, how do you get up there, buddy? Some people can fly, and I think that's like a donations perk. Oh, did you hear? Oh, oh, pretty. Nice. You get to see some fireworks. That's cute. Oh, I love it. Now, I think Main Street USA is the only place that's really going to have decorations, but let's look around and we'll ride some rides. Let's go to Haunted Mansion see how many times I rode Haunted Mansion. I think they might have state. Mm, I don't know. I remember in uh, for Halloween time they had like little stations for trick or treat. I'm not sure if they have something like that for Christmas. Hee 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 Yes. Let's go on the haunted mansion. It's my favorite. We'll go through the we'll go through the cemetery, the interactive queue. Mahaha. They're uh, I think they're extending the queue in Disneyland. Um, so I wonder if they're gonna add like an interactive queue like this in like in Disneyland because Disney World has uh this it what they call an interactive queue because there's like a lot of things you can like play with like touching things to make noises or whatever we gotta do the pre-show of course give me a second i think audio is coming out of my speakers that's weird i can't change it Welcome, foolish mortals, <laughs> to the haunted mansion. Oh no, we made the portrait disappear. I am your host, your ghost host. <laughs> <laughs> haunted mansion is my favorite ride. I think part of that is 
I always say how it's funny because I was terrified of the Haunted Mansion as a kid. I'd cry in the queue. Ah! ah! Oh, good timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. But yes, I would cry in the queue when I was a little kid because I was so afraid of it. Um, but now I love it. But I think part of the reason that I love it is because I used to be terrified of it. So it's, it's, I almost feel like powerful because I'm not afraid of it anymore. <laughs> it was so silly to be afraid of it as a kid. Like it's, it's, it's goofy. It's, Haunted Mansion is goofy. It's not really scary. But I was like, the jump scares got me in particular. But, uh, uh, the thing that really got me was I, uh, I found this website called Doom Buggies, which Doom Buggies is what they call the, uh, the, the ride carriage that you're in. And the website was called Doom Buggies, and it had, like, a bunch of history and backstory and, and lore and stuff like that about the Haunted Mansion. And I just got sucked into it reading everything about the Haunted Mansion, and I got obsessed. Oh, I didn't mean to frighten you and prematurely. so that's why I love Haunted Mansion so much. <laughs> I know so much about it. Come later. Now, as they say, look alive, <laughs> and we'll continue our little tour. And let's all stay together. I'm trying to remember if it was in, uh... I think it was in both Disneyland and Disney World, but they had to redo these so many times because the stretching room effect would like scratch them up. But I think they've gotten to the point where they're like, they're, they, they no longer get damaged when the room stretches. I will say, as I say every time, in the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland, it is an elevator. In Disney World, it is not an elevator. The room, the ceiling actually rises. All right, let's let's get on the doom buggy. Ha ha ha! Oh, this this is this is apropos because like yesterday I was getting the feeling like oh, I'm really missing Disney World. Safety bar, please. This makes me so happy. <laughs> for you and heed this warning. The spirits will I was thinking I want to watch it. I mean, I watch ride uh, Small World. So we'll have to ride Small World. Give me ride suggestions, everybody. What rides do you want me to go on? I absolutely will ride Haunted Mansion in Disneyland because it's the holiday theme one right now. First editions, only ghost stories, of course. I feel like I mentioned this last time, but I like how the busts look ahead of you a little bit because they absolutely look like they're looking ahead of you in the original ride. I like the shadow. <laughs> the shadow is just like laying, like a, a armor laying on the ground. I, uh, so the holiday themed one in Disney, maybe we'll do that next. I mean, Disneyland. No, we, we'll stay in m Magic Kingdom for a little bit longer first. Um, but the holiday version in Disneyland is Nightmare Before Christmas. Who here likes Nightmare Before Christmas? I am a big fan. Um... So you may remember, I think the Tower of Terror has the best Minecraft adaptation in MC Parks. It's pretty, it's pretty poggers. Oh, they added the hat box! Guys, they added the hat box ghost! Because in, 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 in the real, uh, so, uh, <clears throat> the hat box ghost is very infamous, very famous, um, because he was an old effect that they tried when they first opened the Haunted Mansion and the effects back then just didn't look right. Essentially, it's supposed to make his head disappear and appear in the hat box he's holding and go like back and forth. And so they had to remove him, but years ago, they added him to the Disneyland 
haunted mansion with new effects that the technology was just better it can make it look better and they just recently like a month ago added him to the disney world version and they did here they did in the they did it in in mc parks i didn't realize that that makes me so happy I find it interesting that they have him in the hallway, the endless hallway, because his original place was in the attic, and he's in the attic in the Disneyland one. And I think the original story was the beheading, he was beheaded by the bride, which you'll see the, the Constance Hatchaway has a hatchet, and she beheads her past husbands. Um, so I thought, I, I thought, you know, he's supposed to fit into her, her lore, but they didn't, they didn't put her, put him in the attic, uh, in Disney World, which is interesting. Sorry, I'm a big, I'm a big Haunted Mansion nerd. I watched the Haunted Mansion movie and I, I could go on and on about all the lore stuff that bothered me because I'm a big lore person and I'm like, no, it's not right. <laughs> They basically intentionally changed the lore for the movie, though. So yeah, you see here, like, the, the portraits, they lose their heads because the story is she's the Black Widow Bride. She beheads her husbands and inherits their money. You also notice in the pictures, each time she has a new... A new line of pearls around her neck because each time she gets richer and richer so in the Disneyland version the hatbox ghost is like right here so I figured I mean I guess I'd have to take a good look but maybe they just didn't have room to put him here I don't know but I'm sorry Volcare you said that you like Nightmare Before Christmas that's really nice to hear I was thinking of watching a Christmas movie after this, and I was all accepted in Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm between, it's funny, I'm between Nightmare Before Christmas and Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. So it's like, either the spooky emo vibes, the, the edgy kid vibes, or like, very wholesome kid vibes. When I was a kid, I was particularly scared of the like, pop-up ghosts, which were originally in the attic. But they moved them, or, well, I think they've always been in the graveyard, too. But they originally had them in the attic, too. Fun fact, the deepest voice that you hear singing here is Thurl's Ravenscroft. Which, if you didn't know, is the singer of You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. So there you go. Connection to Christmas in the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Oh, me too. I miss Illuminations, too. I'd love to see Illuminations in MC Parks, but I don't think they ever made it in MC Parks. Because uh, Epcot Forever is going to happen soon. I will not watch it, though, because I don't find it that exciting. But Illuminations, yeah, Illuminations, my beloved. I know you love Illuminations, F10. Um, but yeah, Illuminations is pretty great. Um, I think they're getting a new Epcot show? Or did they already get a new one? I'm trying to remember. Hurry back. Be sure to bring your death certificate if you would like to join us. Or decide to join us. Oops. That's like my favorite line, though. I love that. Oh, we've been dying <laughs> to have you. We've been dying to have you. Wait, how many times have I written it? 300 times! Guys, that was my 300th time writing it! You were here for my 300th ride on the Haunted Mansion. Ain't that exciting. Oh, hydrate and stretch. Okay, I got water here. Mm. Good drink. And then big stretch. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, my abs are a little sore from the workout. <laughs> okay. Maybe we do It's a Small World next? 
it would be really cute if they put like Santa hats on like all the different animatronics in in Christmas time. But I know they won't do that because they don't want to go too overboard with like the holiday stuff. Because some people they may not be able to visit again other than for the holidays. And so they don't want like the experience to be ruined by everything being holiday themed. Look, it's 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 my it's my punsy bathrooms. Look, this is a punsy, a punsy. When I went last year, I dressed up as Rapunzel, and I I posed in this area for pictures. Of course, I had to. There was there was also like a special photo op thing. I think it was right here, um, where they had the lantern from Tangled. Um, and they were like, people were lining up to take pictures with it. The line was really long because I would have loved to do that in my Punzi costume. That would have been great. But oh well. Let's do It's a Small World. Wait. Here. I was trying to remember the spot because like, there's a specific spot where you can jump over. Boop. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> it's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. You know, they could have the the screens at the end where people where where it has like the different goodbyes in uh in different languages. They could have a uh, different language. Merry Christmas at the end. And Feliz Navidad and all that. <laughs> That'd be cute. I love... <laughs> Obviously these tables right here get taken up all the time in Pinocchio's village house. Uh, but it's fun to sit there and wave at the people going by in the ride. <laughs> Or when you're in the ride, wave up at the people eating their food. La the last time I went there, I don't think it was... I think it was a visit before when we actually ate there at the village house. And I got this cute Rapunzel pastry that was like supposed to look like her hair in a braid with a bunch of flowers and stuff. And then uh, it had a frying pan, like a chocolate frying pan. It was cute. Ready to go insane, everybody? Hearing this song on loop for ages, for like 10 minutes or however long this is, it's, it's, it's a long ride. Oh, we're up to 70 guests now? Wow. Oh, Skinny Pancake, I remember Skinny Pancake. There's there's probably a lot of names I'm gonna recognize because I, I just saw these people all the time for like a month straight while I was playing this every single day for hours. Um, but uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. <laughs> I don't remember. I, okay. In my opinion, and I know some people are gonna fervently disagree. I know F10 disagrees, uh, but I like the uh, the Disneyland Small World just slightly better because they have Disney characters in it. And I know, like F10 doesn't like when like Disney IPs overtake uh, old rides or whatever, but I don't mind it if like Disney is just casually included in it. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I think it's cute. I think it's cute to include the Disney characters in the different places. Um, so I like it. But, you know, I, I think, cause like some people hate that and they hate like, they hate that Splash Mountain is getting replaced with uh, Princess and the Frog stuff. I don't mind it, mostly because I'm not super attached to like the OG IP. Like, 
nobody's seen the original, like, uh, Splash Mountain. What, what, crap, what is, what is that movie called? Song of the South? Nobody's seen that. Nobody cares. <laughs> so nobody, but I, but in its own way, it's just like, okay, then it's, that's just the ride is that theme. So they don't want that to get replaced. I don't mind it personally. Mostly because I, I really love the Princess and the Frog and I think it needs more love. So I guess I don't mind. But, um, but I, uh, I know if they ever touch the Haunted Mansion, I would have a fit. I would have an absolute fit. Like, if they, I'm, like, glad that it seems that the the, the Haunted Mansion movie that came out this year did not do too well because I'm sure if it did they'd be like well we get to change the ride now to match the movie and I would cry I still love the joke in episode 2 a hell of a blast taking a jab at Disneyland with Lululand yeah that's always fun that's always fun that's because Disney refuses to release Sound of, South, the South, the Sound of the South from the vaults yes because it's a, it's, it has some problems. <laughs> so yes, of course, because reasons. Yes, because reasons. We're not gonna talk about them here because this is a pure wholesome stream. <laughs> but there are reasons. I was a son of the South simply for bragging rights. Just for bragging rights. That's fair. Like just to say that, like you've seen it. You know, because no one else has. Nobody cares about it, but... That's part of the thing. Nobody cares about it, so if you're like, Oh yeah, well, I've seen it. They're just like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Old Disney did have some yikes moments. That's why, like, with a lot of the movies, you'll you'll watch them on, uh... <laughs> you'll watch them on Disney+, Plus and they'll have, like, a little warning at the beginning, like, Listen, there's some stuff in here that we no longer agree with. Listen. We're sorry. <laughs> The private military animations they did were wild. Yep, you are absolutely right. Like, was it, wasn't there one where Donald Duck was a Nazi? <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Donald Duck is a sweet, innocent duck who has a short temper, but he would never do that. He's good. He's a good boy. He uses magic because Kingdom Hearts is canon. Goofy was a spy. Oh my goodness. Goofy would not. Goofy would not be able to be a spy. That's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Look at the platypus. The platypi. I saw a video of a platypus earlier that was mad cute. It was so cute. That was a propaganda episode. Yeah, Donald dreamt he was in the Painter's Army, and you find out he's a proud American. TM. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was a nightmare. Oh, I am proud to be an American. <laughs> TM. <laughs> Yeah, Disney's come a long way. I'll say that. I'll definitely say that. But you know, looking at that old stuff, especially the war propaganda, is pretty hilarious. So fun fact, it's canon that's why Donald has angry episodes, because he's a war vet? What? Wait, is that actually canon? That sounds like fanon. Was that actually canon? Oh my goodness. No way. That's ridiculous. It is? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. That's... Oh wow. That makes me feel bad. Oh my goodness. That makes me feel bad. 
Like he's angry because he's traumatized and it's played off as a joke most of the time. Donald fought for us, it's real. <laughs> Mad respect for Donald. Respect the veterans. Oh my goodness. Also that just puts into perspective like, you don't really think of their ages, but like technically they're really old at this point. Like Mickey and Donald and everybody. Technically, they're like really old now. <laughs> Adios, the kakaro! Alva, the kakaro! I can't read that, the kakaro! Goodbye, the kakaro! Oh my goodness. Yeah, Mickey, at least Steamboat Willie Mickey's about to hit free domain. Yeah, he's that old. He's an old man at this point. He's a grandpa. He's like a great great grandpa at this point. He's an old man. But we don't think of that because like... I don't know. You just... Assume they're young. You just... Oh, excuse me. You just think of them as being young. Let's go on the carousel! Carousel! I do want to go to Disneyland kind of soon this year. Wait, I have to... Get on the, get on the horse! Hello and welcome to Prince Charming Regal Carousel. Hello and welcome! Once we will open our gates. Once seated, if any children's feet do not reach the stirrups, I'm in! Their seat belt. If so, Woo! Please stand on the inside of the carousel. Thank you. Great, great, great. Yeah, great, 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 Grandpa. Also on the topic of rave Disney stuff, I'll never forget when they made a risque animation of a gecko shedding her skin. It was treated like an outfit. Oh gosh. Yeah, some of that older stuff. Yeah, some of that older stuff. I mean, a lot of times, like, we like to think of cartoons as being for kids. And obviously today, that's still not true. Um, there was absolutely a adult animation. And people need to be careful with that. They can't just say, oh, it's a cartoon. My kids can watch it. Um, but at the very beginning, cartoons were absolutely made for adults. Absolutely made for adults. They were a form of art for adults. And they absolutely made risque stuff for adults. Yeah, the first animation was for adults. Like, the absolute... Absolutely for adults. The beginning of animation was an adult um, medium. And so, and, and I mean, I don't know, like, I mean, Disney is definitely a big part of it um, for s making the idea that, uh, that uh, animation is for kids. But that was like, I don't know, it wasn't the norm at the time. When Walt Disney made family-friendly animations, that was not the norm. TK is an adult animation, especially when she shakes from side to side. You mean like this? You mean like this? What are you possibly talking about? Yeah, everything around Disney is incredibly fascinating, absolutely. I'm very excited for Lack of Daisy because how much it felt like it takes inspiration from old Disney and Don Bluth. Absolutely. And that's another, like... I mean, it wasn't, like, adult in, like, a kid couldn't watch Lack of Daisy, but it was adult in that it had themes that would relate more to adults. And I like that, too. Because, like, a lot of times when you think adult animation, at least nowadays, is, like... Like, uh, in a, like, straight up inappropriate for kids kind of thing. You think of it as Family Guy and honestly, like, Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss. Like, they're, they're straight up inappropriate for kids. But that isn't necessarily what adult animation has to be. Adult animation can absolutely be, like, like, not inappropriate for kids, but just sub, be around subjects that are more interesting to adults. I think a good example would be, like, Agretzko. Like, 
it, it's it's appropriate for kids to watch and they could watch it if they want to and but i just don't think they'd get into it as much because it focuses on the life of an adult oh uh let me you have to scroll up like there's a rule that you couldn't have facial hair as a disney employee until around the 70s you can only have a mustache no beard huh i wonder what the reasoning was behind that the webcoming actually gets really dark with something that happens to Rocky. <gasps> I do like dark. Yeah, there's not there's not for kids and then there's for adults only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a good way to put it. Cause like, yeah, there's definitely stuff that like it's not necessarily like inappropriate, but it's definitely targeted to adults. And I think, I think there needs to be more of that stuff, like things that are targeted for adults but not necessarily inappropriate for kids. Like, that's a thing in general that could be done, but especially for animation. Um, because something's just, like, listen, adults need, like, their, their focused media, too. <laughs> Gretzko is more or less a highly exaggerated rendition of working in an office in Japan. Absolutely. I mean, it's still... I mean, not to say that it's exactly the same or anything like that. I mean, working conditions in Japan are horrendous. Um, but it's also relatable to, like, anybody who has, like, a job. And not even necessarily a working, uh, an office job, but, like, any kind of job. Um, but obviously it's, it's much more, um, focused on... Japanese culture and stuff like that too. I mean, saw in season four is a banner. Hope they release it eventually. Heck yeah! It's the irony when an adult cartoon is just childish and humor and immature. It's weird. I love that. That's great. All right, we're gonna want we're gonna ride Space Mountain, so we hit like a couple different rides in Disney World, and then we will go to Disneyland, and we will absolutely, absolutely go on the Haunted Mansion there. Ha! <laughs> nice guess. Nice. Um, but we will absolutely, uh, check out the decorations at Disneyland, and then ride Honda Mansion there, because it's the holiday one. I think... So I think they said they were going to keep Ghost Galaxy in, uh, in Disneyland, too, which is the Halloween version of Space Mountain. I think they said they were going to keep that, like, year-round, just because... Uh, if you want to ride, like, the original Space Mountain, you can basically just ex go on the Disney World one. I sure do despise how prevalent Family Guy has become. It's no important to of all places. There was a time when I enjoyed Fortnite. I mean, not Fortnite. Uh, Family Guy. Uh, I... I liked it. I wouldn't say that I was a huge fan of it, but I liked it. It's definitely overstayed its welcome, and it's definitely gotten way too prevalent. And I agree. I don't like that it's everywhere. I don't like that it's like the poster child of adult animation. I don't think it deserves it. I'm very interested in how the first season of Has Been is going to be especially with the massive recast. I am so excited for has been. Absolutely excited. Like, I should literally mark my calendar for when it comes out so I can make sure I watch it ASAP. And I will, I don't know, do you know, is it announced? Are they gonna have it like episodically or are they gonna drop the whole season at once? I don't know how Amazon Prime typically does it. Um, I don't know how Amazon Prime typically does it. I know Netflix tends to dump everything all at once, uh, but I'm not sure Amazon Prime does it. Because if they dump it all at once, um, uh, if they dump it all at once, I will absolutely marathon it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Shame Mr. Radio got recast. Yeah, I will say, okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. I think all the recasts are great. I miss the original Angel Dust because of course but I think the new Angel Dust is doing a very good job uh, the only one I don't like is Alistair I think he does not sound anywhere near as good as the original TK is never like Fortnite if you say she did it's a lie 
<laughs> no, I actually... There was a time when I played Fortnite, but it was mainly because um, I was playing it with my best friend, and that was it. That was like the only reason I played it. I didn't really particularly enjoy it. I didn't really hate it either. I just wanted to play with my friend. It was a game we could play together, and that was it. But I have no interest in going back into it. Unless, again, it was like the only game I could play with my friend. Early Hope has been sets a new standard for how adult animation should be. Absolutely. That would be sick. I've seen Amazon do both, but I think they've been doing episodic more recently. Ugh, boo. I wanna, I want I don't wanna have to wait for a new episode every week. I wanna just binge it. Keith Dave, uh, David as Husker is a very great recast. Yeah, that Husker, the uh, Husker is good. Uh, I think they're all very good, except for Alistair. And I feel horrible saying that, because I'm sure he's a wonderful voice actor, and he definitely sounds good in terms of, like, acting. I just don't think he fits the character quite as well as the original. And maybe that's just because I've seen the original so much, and that's what I'm familiar with. Maybe I'm biased, but I just don't think it's as good. Here's hoping it has a little less cursing than the Hell of a Boss has. Listen, I think Hell of a Boss is, like, overplayed a lot for reasons. Like, that's just what they're going for. That's what they, like, it's supposed to be too much and over the top, and they love it. I don't know if Hasman Hotel is going to be quite as intense, especially because it's not, like, an independent YouTube thing. So they're going to, uh, they're going to have a little bit more restriction. The recent episodes of the show definitely seem to cut back on the swearing and has focused on visual jokes. Yeah, that's true. I did enjoy some of the more recent ones. Yes. All right, let's go, um... Wait, are they not decorated for Christmas? Oh no, I see Christmas decorations. I'm like, it's, this doesn't sound like Christmas at all. They got some wreaths up. They got some presents. This is Disneyland. I don't think I've been on Disneyland in this stream. Oh, oh okay. This is, this is Christmas. This is Christmas. <laughs> it's just not what I expected. Alva Boss was meant to focus on more comedy than drama. While well, it has been, it's going to focus more on drama than comedy. Gotcha. So, yeah. I think overplaying the uh, swears is definitely dumb for comedic effect and a hell of a boss. So, Hasman Hotel will probably be more chill. So they got a big tree too, but it's not... I don't like it as much. It's cute! It's cute! Don't get me wrong! But, I just like the Disney World one better. Get Christmas in a dive bar music. Yep. Yep, you're right, you're right, that's exactly it. Aww. They didn't have that in Disney World, did they? Or did I miss that? Because I think they had more stuff like going across the buildings, or like on the faces of the building, as opposed to lined across the buildings. I don't have Optifine, so none of the t-shirts work, unfortunately. But I want to get Optifine. I think I used to have Optifine, but I got rid of it a long time ago. It's a random hope, but I sincerely hope there's a Doom reference somewhere in has been. Um, you, ugh. even if it's one of the collectibles on Charlie's desk or something, that would be pretty fun. <laughs> that would be pretty fun, wouldn't it be? Uh, my husband recently got the OG Doom because he has a really old laptop and he was trying to get games to run on it, and so we got. Doom, and he's like, man, this game is so good. <laughs> I've never played it, but I kind of want to play it now. Aww. Look at the castle. Okay, I will say, at least in Minecraft, I like how the castle looks here more than in Disney World. The colors in Disney World just weren't as... Like, this is more wintry. Well, the other one was more like in-your-face Christmas, you know what I mean? And I think going for a more wintry vibe just works better for a castle. Like, because the other one was just like bright greens and reds, and there was a little bit more... I don't know. I like this one better. 
And I like, I like, oh, it's very cute. I really do love Charlie's redesign. I do miss her more rounded face she had in the pi uh, pilot. Yeah, I, I think they didn't do too... Like, they didn't do her dirty. They didn't do, like, any major changes enough so that I would be upset about it. Um, I think I liked her hairstyle a little better in the pilot. Um, but it's so similar that I'm not gonna be too hurt about it. You know what? We rode the other carousel. Let's ride this carousel. Actually, haven't seen the Amazon trailer yet. I just hear about the recast. Oh, you should totally check it out. Should I watch it on stream after this, or is that not uh, Christmassy enough? Oh, get on. Mm. It's hot chocolate as poggers. I uh, I followed a recipe to make one that's sugar free because um, I'm not. M my husband is basically completely sugar free at this point. It's fine. You watch after stream, okay? Um, my husband is basically completely sugar free at this point. He's like super anti sugar. I think he takes it too far personally because I am big on moderation. I try to avoid sugar, but I will let myself have it here and there. Because I'm big on moderation. I think moderation is a very important thing. Like, I don't think... The thing is, he feels good about restricting himself. Like, he feels... When he restricts himself, he feels like he's, uh... He's strong. He's powerful. You know, he's like... He's he's got willpower. He, he feels good about it. I don't. I do not feel good when I restrict. When I restrict... I get depressed, I get upset, I it, it's not good for my mentality. So I'm really big on moderation. Um, where I like, I, I feel good moderating it, but it makes me happy to allow myself to have it every once in a while. Yeah, I cannot imagine going sugar free because I love sugar. I have a really big sweet tooth and so there is absolutely no way I could go sugar free. Um, and like, like even on holidays, like on on Thanksgiving, he didn't have any pie. On Christmas, he's absolutely not having any of the cookies or anything. And I'm making cookies. He's not even gonna have my cookies. Um, but he absolutely, he, even on holidays, I will go crazy. I will go crazy on holidays. He abstains from sugar. Yes, that's, that's it. That's it. That's absolutely it. He abstains from sugar. Wait, am I going the right way? Where am I going? I, I want to go to the Haunted Mansion. I might just warp to it. Because I'm not sure if I'm going the right way. <laughs> tell him. Tell him the cookies are sugar-free. Um, he did... We did try and find a recipe for sugar-free cookies. But the ones we wanted to make... Um, were... They used brown sugar substitute. Because we were trying to make... Uh, chocolate chip cookies and you need to have brown sugar for chocolate chip cookies and the all the brown sugar substitutes that we could find used erythritol which isn't very good for you erythritol is showing in more recent studies to cause heart problems so both of us avoid erythritol um so yeah we ended up not making but we could probably find some sugar-free cookie recipes that we could do um and i am making the oreo ball cookies which for those who have never had them you basically take or it's super easy you take oreos you crush them up you mix them with cream cheese and then you make balls and you dip them in melted white chocolate and um it's delicious so i'm making that and then i'm making snickerdoodles um so, snickerdoodles are some of my favorite. Yeah, that's not how you spell urethritol, but it does sound like a drug. Absolutely. I am a sugar fiend. I love sugar so much. But I also, I used to be, I, not necessarily sugar free, but I was incredibly low sugar and I hated it. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm like big on moderation now. Okay, yeah, here, here is the Haunted Mansion holiday. Haha. <laughs> I love the music. Oh, this is so great. Do you have any Hasbin or Hell of a Boss merch? I have a uh, Million Moxie t-shirt and a um, Attic uh, t-shirt with uh, 
cherry bomb and uh <laughs> cherry bomb and angel dust on it and it, it says addict on it uh because i loved that song when it came out i still love it but i mean when it came out i was obsessed i was obsessed um but yes yeah, so yeah i have a couple i have a couple t-shirts if not gonna lie, if I could, I want to have a Luna Plus. I, Luna Plus would be great, but I would want. Um, so I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on stream. Um, I don't think I have, but. Um, oh my gosh! Why am I blanking on his name? My favorite character, the Owl, the Owl Man. What is his name? Why am I blanking on his name? Oh my gosh! He's my favorite. Why am I blanking on his name? Somebody tell me. Hi, hi, Connie! I hope you are having a fantabulous day as well. I am absolutely having a fantabulous day. Stolas! Thank you. Stolas is my absolute favorite character. I adore him. And I would... Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Connie! I'm at the Haunted Mansion, so it's fitting. Look, there's zero days to Xmas. Uh, but Solus is my absolute favorite. I would love a plushie or the U2s. They recently released the U U2s. I don't know if you can get them anymore, but I want the Stolas U2s so much. <laughs> um, you love the voice for Stolas. The voice for Stol. Mm. Everything about Stolas. Mm. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. Lovely. Perfect. Oh, Stolas is the best. His daughter is very cute. I'm well adjusted, I promise. <laughs> no, I agree. His daughter is very cute. I love how the actors for both Fizz and Ozzy are Broadway actors. Yes! Very good. We love that. You gotta do the pre-show, of course. A long time ago, longer now it's all in rhyme, it too. In a place oh, hello. Sorry, sir. In your dreams, for the story that you are about to be told began with the holiday worlds of old. I know you're curious to see what's inside. <laughs> it's what happens when two holidays collide. He. I love rhyming. I'm a big fan of rhyming, okay? Welcome, my friends, to our Christmas delight. Come witness a ghoulishly glorious sight. It's time for our holiday tale to begin. There's no turning. Back now. Nightmare Before Please, Christmas is progress. The way I listen. I'm not gonna Our lie. I feel. I feel a little ridiculous charming, because I am the. During this season, um. When when I when I uh. So relax. When I when my family relax. first watched Nightmare Before Christ Christ Christmas, Christmas, I was the only one who liked it. Tell you a tale now I have a little sister. She was clothes. adopted. Um long after the fact and she is much younger than me but she loves nightmare before christmas too so i am no longer the only one in the family who likes nightmare before christmas but i uh i used to be and i felt really <laughs> I, I felt like an odd duck also you know what? another one where i was the only one who liked it uh was spirited away we watched Spirit Away as a family night movie, and I was the only one who liked it. And I was just like, what? It was the nightmare before Christmas. Yeah, they released merch of Stella in the Dominatrix house. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they don't like it. All the mermaids in Dragon Quest, uh, why am I like, 11, speak in rhyming couplets, and I love it. I love it, too. I love rhyming. When open that yeah, look at all the pictures. Such a I want to see this in person. I've never been to Disneyland, so I have not been able to see the holiday... Uh, holiday Haunted Mansion. Yeah, Spirit Away is great. Yeah, F10 still doesn't care for either. You don't dislike them, okay. Because when, when we first watched them, you absolutely disliked them. Everyone in the family was like, yeah, that was garbage. And I'm like, oh. Oh. No. Oh, you love your Jack Skellington pillow until the washer pulled a seam? That sucks. I'm so sorry. I love, I love these. These are so cute. 
came here from Halloween Town. Look! You'll notice his handiwork. You felt obligated to hate anime back then? Yeah, and it was stupid. That was the stupidest thing. I don't know why we felt like we had to hate anime. I fell out of that very quick, but there was a time when I was like, yeah, the anime sucks. And then I was like, <laughs> but then I immediately like changed my mind around like Spirit Away and stuff like that. I'm like, actually, this stuff's good. Try another Ghibli movie next time you have a movie night. I, my, I love Ghibli. I, F10, what, what uh, Ghibli film do you think our parents would like? Which one do you think? Because I think one of the reasons they didn't like Spirit Away was there was a lot of like Japanese folklore kind of stuff, and that just went over their head. And even as a kid, like I mean, obviously as a kid, I didn't get that because I was completely unexposed to Japanese culture at that point. Um, but I still liked it because it was it was still like fantastical and interesting and strange to me, and I liked that. Maybe Howl's Moving Castle, you think? You think Steel? I don't know. My parents are a little weird. I'm I'm more I'm more obliged to think maybe one that's not fantastical. Maybe one of the ones that's more Most others are based on Japanese myth. Yeah, true. And Japanese and the, and then the ones that aren't fantastical are based on Japanese culture. I mean, not to say that my parents were, like, completely close off that stuff, but they just don't care about it, like, too much. I don't think that they necessarily, like, are like, oh, I hate it. They're just like, um, eh, I don't know anything about it, so I don't really... I don't really get it or understand it or anything like that. Kiki's Delivery Service? Oh, that one's... that one's pretty cute. That one... that one's... That one's more, like, Eastern-inspired. How's Moving Castle feels like it takes inspiration from Western culture, so they might understand it better. True! Because I think it's based- I mean, the, I think the original book that's based off of is British. I do All love Howl's Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle is my personal favorite. Very closely, like, very closely followed by The Cat Returns and Marnie was there. You're listening to the audiobook for Howl's Moving Castle? Nice, I need to, I have the book, I need to read it. Yeah, World War II in Britain. I want to see this in person so badly. All was soon covered, adorned, and deranged. Yeah. And what to your wondering eyes disappears yeah. is Jack's little friend Zero, the ghost dog reindeer. Zero is a good boy. Nothing here was forgotten. It all looks so pleasant. A coffin, Jack says, makes a fine Christmas yeah. present. <laughs> A man eating plants makes a one. I want a coffin as a present. Like one I want one tricked out that's like super soft so I can sleep in it like a vampire. <laughs> what oh my gosh, what if I had like a super comfy coffin that we could sleep in? Um that like as someone could sleep in like it's super comfy and that was where like when th and i get into a fight we're like oh, you're sleeping in the coffin tonight <laughs> not the couch you're sleeping in the coffin tonight <laughs> i love it oh i love it oh i want that <sighs> <laughs> On today's stream, TK channels are inner goth. Listen, I am very low key goth. Not gonna lie, I, I, I've always aspired to be fully gothic or emo or punk or whatever, but I've never fully gone like a hundred percent into it. So I've, I've, I have an inner goth for sure. Nightmarish painting by Courier and Ives. Aw, oh, look how cool. I love it. Oh, I love it. The author of Howl was a student of Tolkien, Tolk, Tolkien and Lewis, by the way. Ah! Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I love that. Now now I want to watch uh, a video of the real one. Um, because it's been a while since I've watched like a video of the real one. <laughs>
On all levels except physical, I am a goth. Evanescence plays in the distance. Unironically, I love Evanescence, so... So they get rid of uh, the bride, but they keep the hatbox ghost. Look at him! See this? They have him right outside the attic here. He's got a little Santa hat. Now what better gift are my friends to bestow than a graveyard that's covered in ghostly white snow? I do love Lincoln Park. My husband hates Lincoln Park, but I love Lincoln Park. I love Lincoln Park so much. Have you been good this year? Oh, yes! Oh, I've been very good this year. And there's Sally. Not as impressive as like the real life one. The real life one is like super detailed and nice. I love all the Transformers memes with what I've done. Yeah, crawling in my skin, these fools they will not heal. Grim grinning ghosts come out to social lives. I also the angels. The angels look really cool too. Oh yes, I definitely need to watch a video of this afterwards. Should I play it on stream? Do you guys want to watch a video of the Haunted Mansion holiday? Welcome to Oogie's Holiday Tricks and Treats. Round and round she goes. Watch your I like Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie is so fun. He's he's such a fun villain. You don't mind? Okay. Well, at the end of the stream, we'll totally watch that. <laughs> no, I don't want eggs. I like it here. And then Sally. I think. I think in the original, this is where Little Leo does. You see the doggo plush event? Wait, doggo plush? Like N as a dog, as a plushie? I don't think I saw that. Boogie's villain song goes hard. You are right, sir. Oh, you know what we should do while we're here? Let's go on Splash Mountain. Since... Wait, I don't think Splash Mountain is open here. No, I don't think it is. Is it open in the... No, I did not see that plushie. That sounds adorable, though. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's open here. Maybe we should go back to... Disney World and go on that because it's... Closed in real life now. I think this is closed. Yeah. Yeah, let's go... Warp, Walt Disney World, Warp, Splash. Let's go on Splash. And then we maybe we'll explore the other parks and see if they have any decorations. Maybe. Wait, why am I trying? It's the Oogie Boogie song. Whoa. Whoa. Remind me to sing that for if I do Christmas karaoke next week. If my voice is fine. My voice will probably be fine, but I have had it before where I'll be com like, I'll get over my sickness and then my voice will disappear. It's so weird. I don't know why it does that. <clears throat> Let's get in the front. Yeah. <clears throat> I think what usually gets rid of, like, makes my voice go away is the coughing, like, rips up at my vocal cords, because I'm very vocal with everything. Um, so I think that, that if I continue to cough, then it pro I probably will lose my voice. But w hopefully not. If my voice is all good, then next week I can do a Christmas karaoke, and I should definitely sing the Oogie Boogie song. Who here, okay, I gotta know, who here is gonna miss the Splash Mountain? I know we mentioned it earlier, but 
is that who here is gonna miss Splash Mountain? Because I'll be honest, as much as I'm excited for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, I will miss it. Because there's there's, you know, there's obviously nostalgia attached to it. And like I remember as a little kid, there was this one year where my mom got this box. I don't even know what it was exactly, but it was a hat box um, that was full of a bunch of Disney stuff. And it came with a Br'er Rabbit and a Br'er Fox doll. And I got the Br'er Rabbit and my brother, I believe it was Snowbasta, I don't think it was UF10, uh, got Br'er Fox. And that was just so indicative of Disney. Like that hat box and that plushie was just so indicative of Disney for me. That that was really, that's my main attachment to Splash Mountain. Oh, you reminded me of one and only Disney ride to actually scare children. What? Remind me of the one, well, Haunted Mansion scares people. <laughs> we were just on the Haunted Mansion. Or it scares children. Or, oh, or Splash Mountain? Splash Mountain does scare children. There's a couple that scare children, honestly. <laughs> you'll you survive F10. Yeah, I'll survive. I just like I said that it's just that's like the one one of the things that's really indicative of Disney for me. Um, too bad the film Briar Rabbit was was in was a. Uh, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> we're just going to say there was a. Uh, it was there was some problems. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a nice stream. We're not talking about bad stuff like that. <laughs> Every ride scared you, TK. Yes, I was scared of It's a Small World because I was afraid I was going to drown or one of the big, big, like, tall, like, Ferris wheel things was going to fall on top of me. I've had that fear since I was a little kid. And my theory is, so ever since I was a little kid, I've been afraid of tall things falling on top of me. And I recently came to the theory that I was told, I don't have any memory of this, but I was told that when I was like two, I think, I climbed the Christmas tree and my dad hadn't bolted it down, so it tipped over and fell on top of me. And so I am determined, I am certain that because of that specific traumatic events as a child, I am now terrified of tall things falling on me. I still am. It's Disney history, TK. Bad history, but history nonetheless. It's true. I, I agree, Lazy. History is important, even if it's bad. I just... I'm the type of person who doesn't like talking about it. <laughs> no, it's just... It's, it's, it's my stream. My stream is pure. My stream is pure! There is no bad things! Bad things never happened! There are no bad things happening anymore! There's nothing bad, I swear! <laughs> There's only pure wholesome goodness in this stream. That's all that's allowed. But yes, I, I, I would say I was... I, I think as a kid, it was just like everything was so big and like flashy that a lot of things as a kid did scare me. I mean, I don't get me wrong, like I've loved Disney since I was young, but there's just a lot of things that were a little intimidating to me. How can your stream be pure when you are not <laughs> in the horniest among us? Okay, we're playing Disney. We're not talking about that. Okay, we're not talking about that when we're in Disney World. <laughs> I remember when Don Bluth gave Disney a huge scare with American Tail and Secret and Them. Absolutely. Don Bluth really, like, I didn't succeed, but definitely had a chance of absolutely screwing Disney. There's a ride in the 90s called Alien Counters. <gasps> yes, it was a unique in the fact that it tied. It wasn't tied to any IP at the time. The premise was the alien breaks out of its tube and sneaks around the ride goers. You get mist sprayed on you when it and and and, and you have mini speakers around you so you can hear it crawl around. It was Disney's accidental take on the xenomorph. It was later replaced by Stitch's Great Escape. Yes, yes, yes. I was there when Alien Encounter existed, but I think one I was 
you had to be a certain height and two i was too much of a baby to watch to like i absolutely would not go on it as a kid like i i knew it was scary my parents knew it was scary i did not go on it as a kid so i never experienced it but i i knew it was there and i knew it was scary uh but i did do stitches great escape when i was older and i miss stitches great escape i thought it was really cute and i thought it was a good like combination of like it was still a little scary because it had like dark parts and stuff like that but they played it off as so goofy that it wasn't like too scary and no problem about the big paragraph i love reading um i was too scared to go on alien counter as a kid yes no Boston went on it so he's the only one of us who experienced it i i love and miss stitch's great escape as well it legit scared children not like the haunted mansion yeah no <laughs> you know but you say i don't want to go <laughs> Okay, so if this is a meme in my family. When I was four, that was when I first went to Disney World. And when I was four, every ride I went on, my parents would ask me, Did you like that? You know, did you like that ride? And I would almost always, not always, but almost always say, I liked it, but I don't want to do it again. <laughs> and that became a meme. I literally would say, I liked it, but I don't want to do it again. Because, I, I don't know, as a kid, I was like, I enjoyed going on it, I enjoyed the experience, but I don't need to experience it anymore. That one time is good enough. <laughs> no, lazy, lazy, no. If you are a child and you are watching this, first of all, you shouldn't watch this because, uh... I... I'm, I, I'm trying to be child-friendly here, but I am not, I am, I am not a child entertainer, for sure. Um... Whee! But do not watch at my Resident Evil playthrough. Just don't. It was adequate, mother. <laughs> oh my gosh, if I were that well-spoken as a child, I think I would have creeped out my parents. It was adequate, mother. I'm trying to be child-friendly, but I'm not a child. I just, like... I've mentioned this before. When I, when I, uh, like, play video games or whatever that are, like, child-friendly, I kind of, like, adapt the way that I speak and what I talk about and all that stuff to being more, like, whatever rating the game is that I'm playing. And Minecraft, especially Disney Minecraft, is very much G. So I try and stay pretty G. But that doesn't mean I'm trying to appeal to the kiddos. I just know that people who are going to be watching Minecraft might be like, hey, I'm not comfortable with more inappropriate things. So I don't want to experience that if I'm watching Minecraft. And so I, so I just kind of bend myself to that. I'm not trying to be a kid's channel by any means because I... I don't care. I don't want to be a child entertainer. That sounds lame. Speaking of, we need to do a, D a DLC. We do need to do the DLC of the village, and then the yeah, and then the remake. We need to play the remakes. But yes, I need to do the DLC. Maybe sometime next year I can start that. I think I was in a few village streams. I know how TK was. <laughs> yes, you were. You were absolutely in a few village streams. We don't talk about that. Not when we're in Disney World. We are we are pure and innocent in Disney World. I was in class for most of the build streams, so I could only go off the audio most of the time. You watched my streams in class? I should be scolding you, but I'm just impressed. The dedication. Inappropriate like TK every time she sees a female on screen. I like women, okay? I mean, I like men and women, but I really like women <laughs> uh, But but yeah, I, I should scold you vulgar. How dare you listen to me in class, but no, I'm just I'm just impressed Oh, this is right of the day Huh, this is right of the day Listen to more or less. I snuck a peek in the chat every now and then. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm like impressed by your dedication. Okay, let's warp Epcot. No, let's go Animal Kingdom first.
Oh wait, no. I know what I'm doing right. Wrong. Wait, I think it's just AK actually. Yeah, okay. I don't know if there's any holiday decorations anywhere else. I believe the term is by disaster. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, there is holiday decorations! Look at that! Look at the Christmas tree! I used to play Just Cause 2 in one of my extra boring classes. Nice. I was not good at, like, doing stuff in my class. Mostly because I was a very dedicated student. But I will say, I think there was one class. I think it was algebra. Because I was really good at algebra in high school and I retained most of my knowledge. Um, so in college, when I had to retake algebra, because you had to take at least one math class, and I was like, I'm just going to take, uh, algebra again, because I like algebra, and it's easy. Um, I like all the animals, that's so cute. Uh, so I think I spent a lot of time on my phone there. I thought TK was a girl failure. I am a girl failure. Bro pulls out his tablet and plays Doom. <laughs> it was during an art class, so we were allowed to listen to music podcasts. Oh, or whatever while we were working. Gotcha. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because I would listen to music during my art class because I, I had a few art classes because I, I, was a, I was a graphic design major. I had a few art classes. But there was particularly one that was like still life drawings. Um, and I'd listen to a bunch of music. While doing that. Okay, I'm assuming that's all the Christmas decorations. Just the big tree out front. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I would listen to music and stuff like that while I uh, would work on my art pieces. I really liked that class. I I didn't like that it was like it was like eight in the morning. Um, but honestly, that year, that was actually the same year I had algebra. I had. My drawing class in the morning, which I thoroughly enjoyed because I love drawing. Even though it was, like, still, st uh, uh, still real life. Wait, what is it called? What is it called? Is it just called still life? I think it's called still life, um, drawings. Um, I, I still thoroughly enjoyed it. I had fun, and it was like, it was a good start to the day. Even though I hated waking up early, it was a good start to the day. Um, but then I had, I think next was math, and that was algebra, which like I said was super easy, and like most of the class I'd be on my phone because it was easy. Um, and the homework was super easy too. He'd, he'd give us like five, ten problems to do, and I'd breeze through them. Um, then I would have poetry class, which was very enjoyable. I love poetry. Um, and he was also super cool because he was like, every day I want you to write about one of the poems I assigned for you to read. Um, there is no minimal, there is no minimal word count or maximum word count. Just write as much as you can about it or as much as you want. Because he was very much so like, he hate, he said he hated giving like a minimum number because he's like, because sometimes you can't say anything more about it. And so you're just repeating yourself or putting in filler and I don't want any of that. And I was like, thank you. I like that. And then I had German, which was super easy. I've talked about it before. My German teacher was like a kindergarten teacher. She was very relaxed. I remember the homework, the homework we would do, you would... Put, you could like put in the answers and then would tell you what you got wrong and tell you the right answers and then you could retake it again and put in the right answers again and get 100% on it. So easy. Easiest class. Um, so it was a very easy and fun semester. It was probably one of my favorite semesters. It's just called Still Life. Yeah, I don't see any more Halloween uh, hol holiday decorations. So now let's go to Epcot. Do they have any? Oh, I wonder if they have any of the new stuff. Uh, oh, I don't see any holiday decorations. Not even a tree or anything. 
So Epcot opened up a new part of, um, yeah, it looks like they don't have it yet. So here, I'll show you. So for a while here, Epcot's been under construction in the middle. And you'll see here how there's this big wall. They finally took this wall down. Um, and they have stuff going on behind it. Um, but yeah, clearly they don't actually have it in MC Park now, just in real life. Any holiday stuff? Coffee, cookie, Mickey waffle. Okay. Um... And then does Hollywood Studios have anything? Lucky my uh, lucky my history teacher was an actual drill sergeant. Oh, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, they have some holiday decorations. Look at that. That's so cute. Look at that. I like that garland. I want some garland too. I want a wreath and I want some garland. <laughs> that's what I want in my house right now. Oh, they have more. For Tinseltown, they have Tinsel up. That's so sweet. Oh, I like this. And the music? Oh. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I love it. I love it. This is such a vibe. Oh, this is so nice. Should we write... Should we write, uh... Tower of Terror while we're here. I know F10 would like that because that's his favorite. Out of MC Park, I mean. Look at the stars. The stars are so cute. I love the stars. I can't sing because my voice is crap. <laughs> Ow, my voice. <laughs> From all this talking, it's starting to get a little, little scratchy. I'm probably not going to stream for too much longer now. I might go on Tower of Terror, maybe Rock and Roller Coaster, and then, uh... Ooh. Did they update the sign? I don't remember it looking that cool. Hydrate and stretch? Absolutely. A big hydrate and a big stretch. Ugh. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, let's go on Tower Terror. Uh, but yeah. Uh... Tower Terror, maybe Rock and Roller Coaster, and then, um, and then I will watch the Holiday Haunted Mansion YouTube video, and then, oh, ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, the library doors in front of you will be opening. Please stand back from the doors, they will be opening towards you. Thank you. Oh, hi! I forgot you walked out of here. <laughs> We're in the library. You're gonna watch the screen. You need to get going soon anyway? Okay. I guess that's good timing then. What, what even time is it? Oh, it's, it's I've almost you been going two hours. I said this was going to be a short stream. I lied. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. <laughs> I love this. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into... The Twilight Zone. The Twilight Zone. Hollywood, 1939. Amid the I love it. It's so cool. The town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right, a beacon for the show business elite. TK, 20 hour stream. Let's, now, let's go. <laughs> no, no 20 hour stream. The 
time is if I go another hour, we can watch the uh, the the holiday fireworks. But like I said, I gotta go like as soon as they're over, so that's probably not gonna work. This, as you may recognize, is a maintenance service elevator, still in operation, waiting for you. Waiting for you. We invite you if you dare to step aboard, because in tonight's episode, you are the star, and this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed your stay here at the Hollywood Tower Hotel. The elevator to your rooms are right this way. Woo! Press the button to start to if you dare. Test. Hopefully I don't get stuck. Because, uh... Please I've had a few times on this ride that I've gotten fastest. stuck. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the elevator at all times. And okay. Take I think we're good. To supervise I think we're good. <laughs> Thank you. Estimados huéspedes, por su seguridad, una vez a bordo, por favor, permanezcan sentados y mantengan sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del elevador en todo momento. Y por favor, vigile a sus niños. Obviously, Gracias. this ride scared me a ton as a kid, too. I think something that like resonated with me as a child too was one of the ghosts was a little girl, you know, like me at the time. I was like, oh, little girl, your little girl. Oh no, I could be that little girl. Oh no. <laughs> I especially was like, I was especially scared by stuff where like things happen to children. Like I, uh, I watched the others. And the sixth sense when I was pretty young because for some reason my parents were like yeah you can watch horror movies as a six-year-old um and in the others okay I guess spoilers does anyone care about spoilers for these um in the others it re it's revealed that the mom um actually killed the children and they were all ghosts um, and that really disturbed me as a kid. And then in the sixth sense, there's a ghost that the co the kid who can see ghosts discovers was accidentally killed by his by her mother poisoning her. Um, and that really disturbed me. Basically, anything involving like a kid being hurt, or especially the kid being, like, killed by the mom was, like, really disturbing to me as a kid. Scary things only happen to small children that look like ETK. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> ah! You are I knew it! <laughs> the fifth I absolutely the knew it! Darkest corner of the imagination in the Tower of Terror. Oh. Oh. Lightning. It's a little delayed. The sound's a little delayed. Oh, there we go! Whee! Whee! This is so fun in real life, though. Like, just going... Who... Who... Who would expect that just going up and down in a ride would be so fun? It's that, like, free fall feeling, you know? It really gets your adrenaline going when you're just falling freely. I have I have a fear of heights, so I'll do them. But you know the rides where you like you're on a tower and you're like the seats go all around the tower and your feet free hang and it goes all the way up and then it drops you. Those kind of scare me, but I'll do them because they're still fun. It's fun to be scared, but those ones kind of scare me. <laughs> a lot of rides don't scare me. That's the thing. Like, I I don't get. I'm not scared of roller coasters or anything like that. Um, but those particular rides do kind of scare me because I have a fear of heights. Uh, this doesn't scare me because I have stuff below me technically. So that like it's it's the fact that they have my feet hanging that makes me scared. Look up different animals in zero gravity. I imagine some animals have fun. 
<laughs> That's true. They probably have some fun. I'm like, woo! And then they start spinning. They start doing little spins. That'd be cute. That'd be so cute. I would love that. You think like rabbits in zero gravity try to hop and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I can't move. I mean, I'm, I'm just barely going anywhere. I'm like, I'm just barely pushing myself. The best one is the dog. The dog just accepts their fate and floats. There's like, this is my life now. Do they look like they're having a good time though? Are they like, eh, this is fun. All right, we're gonna go on rock and roller coaster. Not very Christmassy, but we'll end with rock and roller coaster because rock and roller coaster is one of my favorites. This was a ride that when I went on it as a kid, I was, again, crying in the queue because I was really scared. But everyone was like, this is a really good ride. You're gonna love it. Oh, I forgot the shortcut. Let's take the shortcut. It's a little late now, but I'll take the shortcut just to show you guys the shortcut. I forgot about the shortcut. So you can just go up here. And then you hit shift so you can go under and you're in. Um, but yeah, I cried in the queue because it was really scary. And I was really scared. <gasps> the button's not working. The button's not here. Is it broke? Um, but yes, I was very scared. But everyone was like, it's so fun. You're going to love it. So I, I went on it and... I cried in the queue, and then I went on it, and I loved it. I think that was the first time I like realized roller coasters are fun, you know. My favorite are frogs and cats. Frogs just splay out and stay that way. Cats twist and turn and turn around, trying to face down. Oh no! The rats look like they are having a blast. The cats were not having fun at all. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, I think the pre-show is broken, so we're just going to uh, go the normal way. Let's go on the super stretch! Yes! The freeways are jamming today. So the freeways are jammed. The shoulder restraint until this one, this one doesn't translate well to Minecraft, I'll be honest. Like, this is a great ride in real life, but it doesn't translate super well in Minecraft. Because, like, 90% of it in real life is, like, the G-forces and stuff you're getting. It's not much of the aesthetics. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Just keep it there are some cool aesthetics, but it's 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 like 90% the g-forces you're getting and you're not you know You can't really translate that into Minecraft and like the spins and everything get messed up because you can't go upside down in Minecraft and... Woo! See you just kind of end up clipping through the you're like, Wait, where do I look? You loving the announcer? Yeah, the announcer is so much fun. Am I gonna get copyright? Am I gonna get DMCA for uh, Aerosmith? <laughs> I gotta talk over it. I gotta talk loud. I can't. Ah! I'm gonna get DC DMCA. All the donuts. Wee! Slow parking ahead. No, this is it. Aerosmith. She's just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm, they're gonna, they're gonna strike me down. I'm just riding your ride, Aerosmith. All right, let's go back to Tinseltown just to look, just to end off looking at the pretty. No, no, let's go. No, no more Aerosmith. Let's go here 
And look at the Christmas tree. This is Disney. Congratulations on your lawsuit. No! No! I'm just a little guy! All right. Mm -hmm. To the right time, the right time. To go riding in a run horse sleigh. Okay. We got the Christmas tweet, the Crimbus tree. And I think we're gonna go off, go ahead and end off the stream. Um, I will... Go ahead and let's find... Um, the Haunted, Man Haunted Mansion holiday and watch that. Oh gosh, what do we have here? Oh, it's a cease and desist! <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. Well, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay. All right, let's stop this music and then <laughs> then please say <laughs> Hello, master. Would you like a dinner? Like dinner, a bath, or me? <laughs> well, you like that one so much. Okay, let's, uh... Get this going. <laughs> okay, let's, let's watch this. Oh, I want to see this in person so badly! Look how great it looks! It's amazing! I mean, I want to go to the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland. Normally and as the holiday. That's the thing, I have to go to Disneyland at least twice so I can experience the Haunted Mansion as it originally was and then also experience it as the holiday one. So I have to go to Disneyland at least twice. And then I want to go to the Phantom Manor in uh, Disneyland Paris. Dear Sandy Claus. All the way in to the dead center of the room. You know, the main reason, I think, why they move people away from the walls is as somebody who is in a wheelchair for this, they bring the people in the wheelchairs to the wall. So they gotta keep- they have to have space for the people in the wheelchairs. Oh, the spider crawling around. That's so cool. <laughs> Call it Glimmer to you being Glimmer family friendly, my butt. Shush! Shush! You made me do it! I like it. I like I like that they have Jack coming down like that, like just big and looming over the entire room. It's it's great. I love it. So like I said in the Disneyland version, this is an actual elevator. The stretching room moves down because it is an actual elevator. The Disney World one is not an elevator. The room goes up. Um, this is because there is a, um, you also notice there's a long hallway here, and that's because there is a, uh, railroad track 
that goes over top of it, and they needed the elevator so people could go under it. Mm. Oh, look at Zero Go! Aww. That's so cute. I didn't realize Zero. That must be new. I didn't realize Zero went around like that. That's so cute. I love Zero. Aww. Poor Sally. Oh, look at the Oogie Boogie on the moon. That looks so cool. And this, oh, this all looks so good. Oh, I want to see this in person so bad. Let's go to Disneyland. Who wants to go to Disneyland with me? TK, TK, TK stream Disneyland visit now. Oh, it's it's April December. Now it's not the original because obviously that's a that's a video screen now. But that one that one is not in Disney World. That is one of the OG. Uh, changing paintings. It slowly goes from April to December as she like rapidly ages each month. Scary Christmas. Scary Christmas, everybody! He 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 he. Da 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 da. I can't go to Disneyland with TK. Uh, with TK, I could handle her crying. I, I couldn't handle her crying every five seconds of how happy she is. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, I, I understand, but come on, come on. <laughs> I cry in my streams all the time. You can handle that. <laughs> Should I get a man eating wreath? No, I'm talking about getting a wreath for my house. Should I get a man eating one? Juliana. I love how they change Leota's crystal ball to like an ornament. So pretty. Yes, I'm always sleepy. I'm not bad though. I've been pretty good lately because I I'm back on a consistent sleep schedule, and I bought a sunlight lamp to help uh, to help get my body used to uh, waking up early. Oh, I just love the gingerbread house. It's so great. I love it. It makes me so happy. And the, oh, and the Christmas tree looks so good. Look at that. I want a Christmas tree that looks like that. Spooky. Spooky Christmas tree. <laughs> Actually, uh, I have a cousin who I don't know if he does this anymore, but he used to have a Christmas tree with uh, Nightmare Before Christmas decorations up from like, because it was Nightmare Before Christmas. He had it up in Halloween through Christmas. So he had it up for several months. Or not several months but a few months because it was both ha Halloween and Christmas. 
Oh, does he have like, he has like a holly or something in his hat? That's so cute. I love that. I love the hat box ghost. Oh, it looks so cool. I love it. Mm. <laughs> I love how he's eating the lights. That's great. Check! Zero! <laughs> oh, it's so cool looking with the snow. And there, there she is. The very pretty Sally. I love how they just cover the bus with pumpkins. And then the angels. I love the angels. They look so cool. I think the only thing I don't like about this is that all the original characters get taken over by Nightmare Before Christmas characters, but I understand why. But you know, I'm really attached to the original characters. <laughs> Those are cute though. I like I like how it's like broken presents. That's great. This is great. I really like this. And then there's Sally. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> I want to see that in person so bad. Uh, uh, okay, let's turn on the Christmas music again. Uh, the Disney Christmas music. <laughs> all right so that's all for today you're pretty eepy yourself all right seal you go take a nap let's let's find somebody to uh to raid should we raid should we raid Vettel or you know um neurosama because neurosama's birthday subathon is going on right now um let me turn this off for a second uh, but yes, maybe maybe we do that. So uh, that will be all for today. Um, I had a great time. This was a great stream. I had a real good time. It was so much fun just talking to you guys and chilling in Disney. Um, celebrating Christmas a little bit early. Because I will not be here until after Christmas. Hopefully I'll do a Christmas karaoke, but it will be belated. Um, but for... For now, you know, I really hope that all of you have a good Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have fun celebrating whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything, then just celebrate a good day. Have, have celebrate you. S have a good time. I hope I hope you all have a great December. I think December is just whether you celebrate or not, it's just like a really nice time of the year. It's cozy. It's it's fun. There's lights everywhere. It's it's so fun. So I hope you have a good time. You take care of yourself. Um, you do something good for yourself. Buy yourself some presents. Whatever. I I hope you all have a great time. Um, a good Christmas. Good whatever you celebrate. I don't care. Just do something good for you. 
and take care of yourself. And I really hope that you all have a good time. Um, but, oh yeah, so you have a good Christmas too, Lazy. Um, so let's raid Neurosama, because Neurosama is having the subathon. Um, wish her a happy, her and Vettel, wish them a happy subathon. And I wish you all, everybody have a good Christmas, have a good whatever, everybody just have a good time. I love you all so, so much. And on that note, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye.